In today's video, we're going to have a look at using the Service Stack native Blazor components and how they enable rapid development of custom UIs that seamlessly integrate with your auto query services. If you are looking at building a line of business application, Service Stack's Blazor templates provide a starting point to rapidly iterate on your applications with generated UIs and auto query services by using the built in low code web app. The low code app generates a web interface that's integrated with your auto query APIs so that you can ship a functional system quickly and collect feedback as soon as possible. Lowcode is built with a flexible petite view development model, and while it provides some customization with a fast development feedback loop, a custom Blazor application can be a great fit for line of business applications that really need that streamlined UX you can only get by building fully custom UIs. The Service Stack Blazor component library provides all the tools you need to quickly integrate with your Service Stack services while still giving you a high degree of customization that you can use when building your own Blazor application. These components work with both Blazor WASM and Blazor Server, so you can choose the right technology fit for your team while still getting the maximum reuse from your Service Stack services. To better illustrate the usage of the Service Stack Blazor components, let's have a look at the Blazor Server template with the booking example. We will walk through how we can start using the low code interface and move to a custom Blazor page, customizing the Service Stack Blazor components all while maintaining a similar user experience with minimal effort. To create a new Blazor project, we're going to use the servicestack.net x tool and the command x new blazor server space my app. This command will create a new Blazor server project and initialize the example SQLite database with booking sample data. Running the application and navigating to forward slash lowcode, we have the bookings auto query services available here as a fully functional CRUD application. Lowcode enables these generated web interfaces for any of your auto query services, which themselves can run with minimal code directly from an existing database. This gets you up and running quickly, enabling the ability to manage and explore your data with well-defined web services. Customizations can be made to both the auto query services themselves using a code first approach with C -sharp attributes, as well as via custom HTML modules with petite view. However, these customizations are constrained to what fits within the low code web application itself. For user facing UIs, low code customizations might not be appropriate or flexible enough depending on your requirements, which is where the Service Stack Blazor components can help migrate your low code UIs into a fully custom Blazor page very quickly. For example, if we open up the blazor-gallery.servicestack.net website, we will see a components gallery which includes the auto query grid component. Just like low code, we get an interactive grid with filtering, sorting, column selection, and more straight from an auto query service with minimal effort. Comparing this Blazor page to the low code bookings table, we have all the same functionality. This is because we are using the auto query grid component, which integrates with your auto query services and the metadata about your service stack application. We also get type safety when configuring the auto query grid component because our bookings query services are code first and Blazor lets us use C -sharp everywhere, allowing us to quickly configure the use of this component and get full create, read, update, and delete functionality just by referencing the related request DTO types directly. This can be used to also limit the functionality of the auto query grid component to be read only, for example. We can reference just the query bookings request DTO or mix just the operations we want and the behavior of the component will act accordingly. By default, the auto query grid component displays all the public properties on the related model, which are presented as columns in the grid. We can customize how these columns are displayed by declaring custom column definitions within our auto query grid. For example, if we wanted to control which columns were visible in the grid, we can declare a columns child element and only specify the columns we want using the field attribute with a lambda expression. 
These custom column definitions are also where we can customize the CSS of a column using the standard class attribute or use the format attribute to customize how the data is presented. With all our columns declared, we can also enable a customized responsive setup by using the visible from attribute with the breakpoint enum. This means we can prioritize which columns we want to show for phones, tablets, and other screen sizes easily in each column definition itself. Further still, we can declare a header within the column to control how the column heading is presented. This can be useful for shortening the formatting of a column name for users with small screens to better maximize the use of limited screen real estate. A full example of these customizations is available in the template under Pages Secure in the bookings.razor file. If you want to present data from non-auto query services but still want a lot of the same functionality for your data, the data grid component can be used just as easily. The data grid component has a lot of the same customization functionality, but it's ideal for use with any service where you manage the data yourself. For example, we can have a list of weather forecasts we fetch ourselves from our web service and store as a page variable. We then reference this variable using the items attribute on the data grid component, applying the same types of customizations as the auto query grid component for custom columns. Another component that can save a lot of time is the use of the auto form components, which will generate a form to submit to any service tag web service. Here we have a new page where we want a user to create a new booking. We just use the auto create form, specify the model type of booking along with the type of create booking for the API type, and we have a great looking tailwind form wired up to our API. To show this works with any service stack service, we can switch this from booking to use to do and create to do type for the API type. Save our changes and our form is hot reloaded showing the new form to create a to do item. We can show the data being updated by providing some to do text, clicking save and navigating to the sample to do page to see our new to do item has been added using this form. Everything is wired up to your service stack web services thanks to its message based design just by referencing the request DTOs. You can do the same for edits by using the auto edit form which works in a similar way, specifying the model, the API type and an instance of the model in the edit attribute we get a working edit form with an optional delete operation working in seconds. These auto form components are used by the auto query grid components as well and handle complex inputs like file uploads like we can see on the context metadata example on the blazer gallery. This in turn uses individual components you can use yourself since the file input component works with any other service with the configured input attribute and the configured file uploads feature. We can also annotate the related auto query services in the same way we would for our low code application and get customizations in our auto forms. For example, for the update booking request DTO, let's use the input attribute for notes to specify low code to use the text area input rather than the default text input type. In low code and the API Explorer, we will see the notes field is now using a text area making it easier for users to input larger bodies of text. And if we switch from using low code to using the service stack blazer components, those same service annotations are honored and we get the same customizations for our blazer auto forms. This enables you to make changes to your auto query services to be reflected in low code, knowing that that effort won't be wasted when you switch to using the service tech blazer components. This continuity of changes by using attributes on our services is also reflected in attributes like notes and others as well. The full reference documentation for these components is available at reference.servicetech.net under the servicetech.blazer.tailwind namespace. If you need more control, basic inputs like text input, select, date time and others are all integrated with service stack services while handling validation binding automatically. In our Blazor gallery example, we can see how we can create our own form for bookings if we need to control custom behavior while still getting the benefits of integration with service stack validation errors from the server. 
The service stack .blazor library also has components like breadcrumbs and alerts integrated with Tailwind so you can drop them into your application easily with consistent styling. The service stack blazor components library is growing and we're adding more value to it all the time by leveraging your service stack services and enabling fast UI development with both blazor server and blazor WebAssembly. We recommend using blazor server for internal and line of business applications since the development model has more advantages than blazor WebAssembly, but since it is stateful, it does have some hosting limitations. If you are building public internet facing applications, Blazor WebAssembly is a great option thanks to its clean separation of front end and back end. Our baked in easy to use pre-rendering solution can greatly benefit your application's SEO and flexibility of hosting. We have templates that are already set up to use Tailwind for CSS, so you can take advantage of the professionally designed Tailwind components and utilize all the components we've seen here to deliver your next project quickly and easily. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any suggestions or feedback about our templates or videos, let us know in the comments. If you want to know more, check out our other videos and join us in the Service Stack community through our Discord and GitHub discussions. Service Stack is free for individuals and open source projects, so anyone is welcome. And as always, thanks for watching.